Hello and welcome back to Art Club. Now last week you made lots of paint you painted lots of lovely sheets of paper and I hope you've got them for today's project. Lots of sheets, I've got some here. And we're going to do some work inspired by an artist who was very important at the start of the last century. He was a Frenchman called Matisse. That's his name, Matisse, and you can go and look him up if you'd like to. And we're going to cut some of our paper up into some shapes and make a picture based on one that he did called the snail. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. It doesn't look much like a snail, does it? But here's the middle bit, and if you look, it goes round in a circle, just like a snail shell goes round and round. Okay, so we're going to have a go at doing that, and I think it should be fun. All right, and show show us at school what you're doing. Okay, come and join me, I'll show you how to do it. So you'll need to gather together your paper, a pair of scissors, and some glue. Then we're going to cut some random shapes, it doesn't matter what the shapes are, nice straight edges if you can, um, doesn't matter what size or what shape, just cut them as you fancy, all the different colours. Now you need to cut one of your sheets of paper into a square, it doesn't matter what colour, whatever colour you like, and then cut another piece of paper into a slightly smaller square so that you can make it sit on top of the coloured paper to act as another little frame. I'm just putting two dabs of, of glue, you can use any glue, onto the paper and then just stick it down onto your background paper and you're ready to start your snail. To start, I'm going to put the corners in, just um, biggish pieces in the corners. They don't have to fit, in fact it looks nicer and more quirky if they don't quite fit the corners exactly. A little bit overlapping over the edges will be fine just like that. It makes it just look a bit more fun. Okay, so go around your, um, your corners and put some nice blocks of colour in there. Take your time to look for shapes and colours that you like. I quite like this green for this corner, so I'm going to put that in there, nice bright colour. Again, it's not very rectangular, so it'll be a nice quirky shape in that bottom corner. But I quite like that orange, so I'm going to put that in. Always, Orange and blue always look good together, so let's go with that. I've got three corners done now, so now I'm going to start with my snail. That's the centre part, and I'm going to have the other shapes going round in a circle. So a nice green centre. I'm going to place some shapes around and some colours until I'm happy with them, rather than stick them all down one at a time. So let's see what we've got. Going round in a circle, can you see like that? Overlapping and going underneath, it doesn't matter what order they go. Okay, a nice purple one going in there. And then when I'm happy, I'll stick all of those down. Here's our snail going round in a lovely circle. And I've made you a funny little animation to enjoy. There we are. And of course, you can use your paper, your scissors and your glue to make lots of other pictures. 
So keep all your little scraps and your sheets safely tucked away in a folder so you've got them for another day. Have fun with it.